Hello my dear friends, this is Prashant Mamani and I welcome all of you in a new lecture of Geography series and today we are going to talk about Arctic Ocean. Dear friends, in our last discussion we have gone through Indian Ocean and I have also highlighted the importance of Indian Ocean in context of your civil services examination. Now this is going to be the last ocean uh, which we are going to study and after that we will take a new topic uh, that falls in uh, the subject of geography and we will study that in context of again your civil services preparation so let's crack on now arctic ocean if you are wondering that where arctic ocean is i'm sure 99 person uh, 99 person that uh, most of you would be aware about where arctic ocean is but as we are talking about uh, different oceans so I think I should highlight it here this is your Arctic Ocean over here let's take a view of Arctic Ocean from northern side of Earth here it is if we go through the northern part of Earth then this is how Arctic Ocean will look like now dear friends before we move any further right from this two pictures what are the things that you can understand regarding Arctic Ocean without reading or studying anything else without reading or any particular books on Arctic Ocean or any other basic books regarding oceans and uh, our earth what do you remember from the last interaction between us on geography particularly on latitudes can you remember that uh, when we started discussing geography I told you about the importance of latitude latitudes are associated with heat isn't it that uh, say for example the equator right if you are living somewhere on the equator then you will find that you are getting maximum light and heat from basically equator is somewhere over here so you will be getting maximum amount of heat and light from Sun so naturally this area are going to be hot isn't it and the area that is falling between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is also known as tropical zone and the reason they are known as tropical zone or torrid zone uh, they both these terms are used interchangeably uh, there is a very uh, minute difference uh, which we will discuss of course in our future discussion but for now let's take it generally that if you are living in torrid zone right that is between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn and this part of the world is getting maximum amount of heat and light from Sun and as we move towards higher latitudes may it be on the northern side or may it be on the southern side right gradually you'll find you are getting less heat and less light isn't it and the way the seasons are working uh, six months uh, on the northern part you will find complete darkness and at that point of time if northern hemisphere or the north pole this part of the world if it is in the darker portion then this part would be having constant light and you know the reason as well if you're not sure then I would recommend you check out my previous geographic lecture which are available on our YouTube channel but for all the students who are following this lectures from its inception then it would be easier for you I'm, I'm sure that you would be knowing what I am talking about isn't it so some things that you can directly recall from or from your understanding on geography is that if Arctic Ocean is located on this part of the world then definitely it is going to be very cold over here isn't it and this place it's not only about uh, the cold that we uh, uh, we face in India right it is not about uh, just freezing cold it is about icy cold isn't it all you will find here is snow snow and snow white cover of snow uh, you will find over here and uh, if you remember when we were talking about continents I told you the distinction between these two poles um, 
uh, I will repeat it that uh, the Antarctica is a continent uh, it is again covered with ice but the difference is this is a land portion that is covered with ice and over here it is a water body that is covered with ice and today we are going to talk about this water body that is generally speaking covered with ice so from top of the world you will find it this is your Arctic Ocean it looks something like this it is surrounded by all the continents as you can as I'm sure you may have figured out that this is North America these are the parts of Canada uh, this is your Alaska over here and this is uh, Russia starting from here and the parts of Eurasia and uh, some of the European Scandinavian countries like Sweden uh, Finland and Norway are over here they are quite close to the circle that we know as Arctic Circle isn't it so naturally this part as we have talked about you will find is snow right moving on this is again a small picture that is providing all the uh, different oceans right we have not uh, covered or we are not going to cover southern ocean because uh, there is nothing that much to that you should uh, know about as far as you know the location of Southern Ocean and when we will be talking about ocean currents at that point of time there is a, a current that goes in a same direction throughout the year uh, we will talk about that and at that point of time we will learn about Southern Ocean but for now uh, the most important ocean for us to study is Indian Ocean followed by the other ones like Pacific and Atlantic and Arctic so let's go through the sum of the details of Arctic Ocean Arctic Circle yes we have already located Arctic Circle uh, around Arctic Ocean apart from that it is one of the smallest and shallowest ocean in the world it is almost size of Russia it is surrounded by land masses of Europe North America Greenland and by several islands it is partly covered by ice throughout the year and almost completely in the winter months now you might have heard about this term uh, climate change isn't it and it is having a negative impact on Arctic Ocean the thing is because of rising temperature of our planet Earth the snow in this part of the world that is on the Arctic Ocean is melting uh, with a dramatic speed and as the snow is melting it is converting into water and this is rising the overall sea level of all the water bodies around the world particularly ocean right and because of this some of the islands are in direct threat of getting submerged I'm sure you might have uh, read this thing or you might have heard about this thing that uh, during 2004 tsunami uh, the southernmost point of our country that is Indira point got submerged under the water and today a uh, couple of months ago uh, not a couple of months ago but I think it's been nearly and uh, nearly a year that uh, nations of um, Micronesia these are the small islands that are in the Pacific Ocean they are known as Micronesia the presidents and prime ministers of this country they visited to India and at that point of time when they were having meeting with our Prime Minister Narendra Modi they expressed their fear regarding climate change because this are uh, the small islands that are that many of their parts are getting submerged because of climate change and the reason is melting of snow in Arctic Ocean apart from that there are other islands as well say for example Mauritius Seychelles they are located in Indian Ocean they are also facing the same thing and the other islands around the world have the same story to share so climate change is having a negative impact on Arctic Ocean and that is one of the reason why you should uh, be well aware regarding this ocean uh, because uh, you may find questions regarding 
uh, you will definitely find questions regarding climate change in your mains examination and you never know uh, what sort of question they ask you uh, but you should be well prepared about or you should be having a good understanding on different things that are going on major things you should it's of course not possible for you to know all the minutest details that are going around but major things that are happening you should be you should have well awareness on these topics right so climate change and its impact whenever you read anything regarding climate change from now on do take into consideration arctic ocean as well and finally polar bears I'm sure you might have seen this uh, magnificent animal polar bear and they are also facing uh, problems for their extinction regarding their extinction because of melting snow and because of this melting snow they are not finding their prey and they go hungry and many times they are seen wandering in the parts of Canada and other parts of world like Russia and all these places uh, so that's basically dear friends everything regarding arctic ocean there is nothing more to talk about arctic ocean in future if we find anything regarding arctic ocean if there is like uh, there are some countries engaged um, in claiming their territory in arctic ocean particularly because of oil reserves that is uh, uh, assumed that there is lots of oil in this arctic ocean so Many a times we find news regarding it, but still there is nothing substantial, there is nothing that much important that I, sh I thought I should uh, take into consideration in this particular lecture. So we are ending this Arctic Ocean over here. Right dear friends, so that is again. And last thing I would like to tell you is that, uh, that Arctic Ocean is connected with Pacific Ocean through Das Strait. This is a small exercise for you to find out. Uh, do it uh, this will I have already talked about this thing in uh, when we were learning Pacific Ocean but again just for your revision I'm throwing a small question for all of you so I'll keep it till here dear friends uh, in our future discussion we will move ahead uh, we were talking basically about uh, hydrosphere in hydrosphere we were we have uh, learned about different uh, water bodies right we have gone through a table uh, through which uh, we came to know that uh, rivers are only 0.001% of all the water that we have on our planet earth. We have also talked about groundwater, uh, we have also talked about ocean and basically hydrosphere is uh, done with. We have also talked about lithosphere in which we have talked about different continents. All these video lectures are available on our website as well as on YouTube channel if you want the notes of this particular lecture or any other geography lecture then do not forget to check out our upscisexams.com portal you'll find all relevant materials and apart from that you will also find materials of current affairs current affairs analysis is provided on regular basis on our website and YouTube channel and apart from that there are lots of special video lectures and special articles that are dealing specifically with your general studies one two and three papers uh, right so i'll keep it till here i'll see you all soon do not forget to subscribe our channel if you have already done that then do turn that notification bell through which you will get regular updates regarding all the videos that we upload on our youtube channel Apart from that, if you think your friends or any other person in your social group is preparing for civil services examination, then do hit that share button, share this video or other videos of our channel with your friends and that would be a great help for them for their preparation. If you like this video, then do not forget to hit that like button and remember you can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter and our WhatsApp number is active as well. If you want to join our WhatsApp group, then our WhatsApp number is available on our website. And finally, I would request all my dear aspirants to please pass me your valuable comments. Do let me know how you are finding these videos. Do let me know how much you are learning from this video. Uh, generally, my aim is not to provide bookish knowledge to you. Always, I am thriving to provide you something that is more practical, something that is more uh, easy to understand uh, that is um, appealing as well and 
of course in relevance of your civil services examination so i will keep it till here i'll see you all soon till then enjoy your studies take care this is prashant mawani signing off goodbye for now